Hi, and welcome back. Today I am at Gogebic Community College with uh, President George McNulty, um, and we're gonna talk about some of the projects that we partnered with the college on. So welcome, George. Thank you, thank you. So tell me a little bit about your role here and the projects that we have going on together. Sure, I am the uh, president here at the college, and I came aboard in 2019, and so I'm just uh, coming up on my second year here. Great. And we worked on, on several projects, mm -hmm. and I'm so happy to be working with the uh, Go Give It Grange Health Foundation. Uh, one is our EMBA project, and I say our, really we were on board to write mm -hmm. a letter of support uh, between uh, your foundation and also the city. Uh, and to be a part of EMBA, to have the college um, be a part of that process with opening up some of our um, space in land and being able to create a plan that could um, be good for everyone in the future with mountain biking and things of that nature would be a wonderful advancement for both here and, and in the area. And then most, most recently we've been uh, partnering on the uh, restoration of the bridge bridge project mm -hmm. and that is associated with a, a approximately 1.8 kilometer trail that was created back in the 80s and it's a very nice trail there's actually a disc golf course there in the woods and but back in 2016 a, a flood uh, occurred and mm -hmm. washed out some fairly sizable bridges Mm -hmm. and uh, and working with, with the foundation and helping to reconstruct those bridges is going to be a, a, a very important um, component of tying to the recreation in the area and again opening up another sp space for people to recreate. So tell me a little bit more about why these projects are important to the college and to the community. And I think that the first reason for that is because it really is associated, these projects are associated with what the area has to offer. Mm -hmm. And with the 24 seven nature of recreation in this area, mm -hmm. I look at, at it as adding value to what the area sure. has pre-existing. Uh, when we talk about the, the two projects more in detail, we can offer more opportunities for people to utilize not only our facilities, but also to make connections with those that are interested in the same things that we are. And I really do see it as a community-driven project. While the college will benefit, of course, it is also a community-driven project that I'm actually most proud to be associated with because not only are we able to help our students to become more familiar mm -hmm. with the different aspects of 24 seven recreation, but we're also able to invite the community in and show that we value this as important. Yeah, and Mount Zion in your backyard is like an yes. icon in Ironwood. <laughs> yes, yes it is. And being able to attach to what the area has been promoting for quite some time is also a benefit. The Iron Bell Trail, for right. example, mm -hmm. is incredible mm -hmm. and I think I had mentioned last time we talked that we were at the park with my family uh, and I were at the park mm -hmm. and it was the tail end of, of the Ramsey portion of the trail and the way it was constructed and the architecture behind it I could tell there was a lot of thought put behind it mm -hmm. and it made me think that that was a place uh, certainly that I would want to be mm -hmm. and so great work and thought has been put into the trail system here and being able to piggyback on that and being able to advance what's pre-existing in the area, utilizing the college shows our commitment and also provides a demonstration of how we're collaborating with other people and, and organizations to make it happen. Tell me a little bit maybe about how the Health Foundation um, has made an impact on the college and some of these projects that you're able to do. Well, first off, it's the support. It's the support and being able to work with people, like-minded people on projects that benefit the college and the greater community is extremely impactful. That is key. 
because when you have people that are in your corner and that are of a like mind uh, and think about the bigger picture and how the area could be developed mm -hmm. through working together, that in and of itself is mm -hmm. the most Im important aspect, in my opinion, of being able to grow and develop a, a community. The grant in and of itself will obviously help us to take one more step in being able to fund the, the project. And I just can't wait to uh, open that up and uh, show what and how it's being utilized in the future. Mount Zion and this college is gonna be a really fun place to be. So thank you so much for joining me and thank you for watching.